Hello everyone, this is your Slackal Master Haragopal. Today I am going to discuss the derivation of distance formula in coordinate geometry chapter. Actually in the coordinate geometry chapter, this is the very first formula and with the help of this formula we have so many important questions were also there. So here before going to solve the problems, let me discuss how the formula actually arrived. So before that let me ask you some question. Is it compulsory to use the formula to find out the distance between given two points? So if I ask this question, your answer should be not always. Why? Because suppose if the given two points are on the axis only exactly, whether both are on x-axis or both are on y-axis or both the points are the, the different axis like x-axis and y-axis. Now here, let me take this example. For example, just imagine this is x-axis. If this is y axis, let the point A is something uh, 3, 0 here and let the point B is something uh, 7, 0 there. So now clearly you can see both the points are lying on the x axis. So simply to find out the distance between A and B, you need not to apply any formula here. Simply you can take the difference of the given two numbers like 7 and 3 is there. Simply 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 which is nothing but 4 units is the distance between A and B. Suppose if the, both the points are on y-axis, how would they look like? You see, like the, mm, suppose point A is something 0, 1 and the point B is something uh, 0, 9. Then the distance between these two points is simply we can say 9 minus 1 is equal to 8 units is the distance between these two points. For example, given two points are on either axis, like one point is on x-axis and one point is on y-axis, how would they look like? You see, just uh, I'm taking something like um, 3, 0 as one point, 0, 4 as a second point. Clearly, you can see as the point is 3, 0, the distance is 3 units. As the point is 0, 4, the distance is 4 units. So simply, you can see a right triangle here whose one side is 3 and another side is 4. You are supposed to find out the high point is, which is nothing but the distance between the points. So simply, you can use Pythagoras theorem. To calculate the distance which is going to be 5 units is the distance between given two points 4, 0 and uh, 3, comma, sorry, uh, 3, comma, 0 and 0, comma, 4. Now here the question is when the points are not lying on the axis exactly, how will you find out the distance? For that question the answer is using distance formula. So we call let A x1, comma, y1 and B x2, comma, y2 be the two points on the plane. Then the distance between A and B is denoted as AB, which is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is actually formula. Now let me discuss you something how the pro formula actually arrived. Now just let me erase everything. Like imagine like x-axis and y-axis clearly origin is there. Now let us take point A, x1 comma y1 here somewhere in the first quadrant point A x1 comma y1 and let me take another point B x2 comma y2 somewhere in the same quadrant. Now if you join AB the length of that line segment is nothing but the actual distance between A and B. So now let me do a small construction here. So now from A let me drop a perpendicular to x axis. Let us suppose it meets x axis at some point C. Now what will be the length of OC here as the point is x1 comma y1. And from A, we drop a perpendicular, the length of OC would be the x coordinate of the point, which is nothing but x1. Simply you can say OC length is x1. From B, we drop a perpendicular, let me take that point as something A. Then what will be the length of OD, which is going to be x2, why? Because the point is x2, comma y2. Now OC is x1, OD is x2. The difference between these two is going to be the length of CD or the distance between C and D, which is nothing but x2 minus x1. Now, similarly from A and B again, we draw the perpendicular to the y-axis. Let me draw the perpendicular from A to y-axis. Let us suppose the point is something E. Already we have completed C and D. Now, the what will be the length of OE here as the point is x1 comma y1? It is going to be y1. What is the length of OF where EF is a perpendicular from B to Y axis. Now drop a perpendicular. Length of OF is going to be OF is going to be Y2 units Y because the point is X2 comma Y. Now as OE length is Y1, OF length is Y2. 
the difference between these two is going to be the length of EF which is nothing but y2 minus y1. So finally let me draw a line parallel to x axis to a already point a is there from a I drew a line parallel to x axis let it meets that last perpendicular at some point g. So clearly you can see a right triangle a b g here where x1 y1 is point a x2 y2 is point. Now here we are not working with the points directly we consider as the sides. Now the AG length is going to be equal with CD which is X2 minus X1 and BG length is going to be which is equal to EF which is Y2 minus Y1. Now let me erase everything. Let us take only that. And another important thing what we have to notice is angle G is going to be 90 degrees here. Why? Because all these are perpendiculars and we know that X and Y X are mutually perpendicular. So now let me take only that triangle here like A, G, B where a G length is x2 minus x1, B G length is B G length is y2 minus y1, where A B, whatever the required thing is considered as a hypotenuse in this particular right triangle. Now in any right triangle we can apply Pythagoras theorem. So let me let me take Pythagoras theorem only. So in triangle A G B, A B square is equal to A G square plus B G square, which is a Pythagoras theorem. So A B we don't know, we consider as A G square only is equal to A G can be replaced with x2 minus x1. And BG can be replaced with Y2 minus Y1. So, uh, AB square is equal to X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square, where AB is going to be square root of X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square, which is actually called as the distance formula or formula to find out the distance between given two points A, X1, Y1 and B, X2, Y2. So, this is the procedure to find out the proof of distance formula in coordinate geometry. So my viewers and children hope you understood the derivation of this distance formula. So with the help of this formula we have so many problems. We will discuss about those problems in another video. So now I think hope you understood everything in this derivation. So we will be practicing this one. We will meet in the next video with another topic. Until then take care. Bye bye. Your selector master.